Two teens in Russia have been detained for allegedly decapitating a homeless man with a saw and an axe, and then also allegedly playing uh, soccer with the man's head. The reason why they got caught is because authorities found a trail of blood from the body leading to the teenager's apartment. Um, the teens are were drunk when this allegedly occurred. Um, and what's incredible about this story is if they get convicted of murder in this case, they face 15 years in prison. What do you got to do to get a life sentence? I mean, I, I guess it's because they're teenagers. But you know, a lot of Europe, you know, you, even Russia has this image of like, oh, Russia is so tough and stuff like that. No, no, no. Our penal system, it, by and large, the United States is far more draconian. Now, in some ways, I agree with that. You know, we, we show cases where a woman gets viciously beaten, we want that guy put away. Somebody gets killed, we want the guy put away, right? <laughs> Um, now, it's oftentimes with our private prisons, we're needlessly punitive for a buck. Yes, right? definitely. No and question. But in some parts of Europe, come on, 15 years, you, you cut the guy's head off. Now, they're not positive that they played soccer with it, but the authorities say, yeah, not only did we find the head, we found the saw, the blood, of, you know, the trail of blood, as you said, but it looks like the head was scalped. Yes. Okay, 15 years? If you don't get a life sentence for that, what do you get a life sentence for? I, I just don't know like how troubled and disturbed you have to be to decapitate someone and then play soccer with their head, or at least scalp their head. I mean, that, that's just insane to me. Obviously, they have some serious issues. I don't know if 15 years in prison would be enough. Um, I'm not an expert in terms of that kind of punishment. But you know, whenever I compare our justice system to the justice system in countries, in other countries, I mean, sometimes we go way too far when it comes to prosecution and sentencing of people in the United States. And it's because people make money off of locking up others. You know, private prisons make money off of locking up others, which is why if you get caught with hash in some states, you could serve a life sentence. Like, we've done stories like that. I mean, look, I remember Steph Stephanie George, three strikes, she's out, right? Mm -hmm. Four, she sold four dollars worth of drugs, hundred twenty dollars worth of drugs, and the third time, it looks to, by all accounts, that she was framed by an ex-boyfriend, by from some cocaine he hid in her attic, right? One hundred sixty dollars worth of drugs, life sentence. They cut a guy's head off and possibly play soccer with it. Fifteen years. There's no justice in the world, man. If those guys get out in fifteen years, oh my God, I'm afraid of. Can you imagine, especially after spending fifteen years in a Russian prison? They come out, what kind of damage they could do at that point. Mm -hmm.